Hi, I'm Jeff. This is Tropical Plants of 53 Degrees North, and today we're going to have a look at smart plugs and why they're so useful around the greenhouse. Okay, so currently I've got these kind of things, these manual timers set up for all the different systems around the greenhouse. I've probably got seven or eight of these, and at the moment, in order to change them, um, obviously you, you set you set an on time and an off time for them and in order to change them I've got to wriggle underneath benches, I've got to go underneath the shelving and it's really fiddly and it's a bit of a faff and especially as the uh, the lights changing now we're, we're, we're working through winter but the the solstice has changed from uh, getting progressively darker and shorter shorter days and longer nights from the 21st of December we're now going in the opposite direction and the days are getting longer and the nights are getting shorter but as that as that changes after a week or two, or two weeks I find that the lights I've got on at the moment will need to be adjusted and I've got it underneath a shelf and it's a real faff to get underneath and or to unplug it and it's the same with the other the other systems that I've got running so I thought what would be a good idea is to buy these things now these are these are called tech. Well, that's the, the manufacturer of these ones. These are Tekin smart plugs, and these are fantastic. And if any, if you never used them before, I'm sure you know it's nothing new. They've been around for a few years. But if you've never used them before, you really must look into them because they're, they're much more convenient. These are actually at the budget end of the market, but if you have a look at some of the reviews for them, now I get a magazine called T3 Magazine, which is a, like a techie magazine that they do reviews on various things and they put these in the top 10. Now this, these are the budget ones, but they say they're perfectly com competent and they do a really good job. So these come in a packet of two. I did, I made, this is my third one that I bought actually. I made a mistake of doing it very quickly and I bought uh, just one on its own. I think it was about 15 pounds. And then when I went on to buy some more, I found two for about 17 pounds. So kind of got done a little bit there. But, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to replace all these with these and set them up on the phone. I'm going to do a little walk through on the phone and show you how they work. They all come with their own companion app. This comes with one called Smart Life. Um, I can do like a little screen recording of my phone and show you how to set them up. So if you've never done that kind of thing before, you might find that useful. If that's, you know, easy peasy to you and you've done that before, then move on on to the next one. But I thought it'd be useful, a little review of a Tekin smart uh, socket. And this isn't sponsored by the way, I don't have enough subscribers for that unfortunately, but you might find it useful. So let's get on with the screen flow. Okay, so we are on my iPhone 7 Plus. Now obviously, if you're on an Android device, it's going to be different. I guess the app will be very, very similar but any any of the iPhone devices, then you're going to find very very similar experience to this one. It's on the latest of the operating software, and this is the latest app. So with this particular smart socket, the Tekin socket, they use a companion app called the Te called the Smart Life app. And this is the Smart Life app. If you look at the bottom of the screen, the the blue one in the middle with a little house on it. So I'm going to click on that. Now what I've done, because I'm recording my phone, I've put it on airplane mode. And this is why I've got this uh, unavailable network. So at the moment, this particular companion, companion app isn't able to connect to my socket. So what I've got here, I've got uh, garden lights. So I've got some lights in the garden and they're plugged in to uh, I've got an outside office, so they're plugged into a socket in the outside office. Um, before they, they plug into the socket, they're plugged into the Tekin smart socket. And once you've paired your smart socket up with the app, then you can control everything from your phone, which is really, really useful. Obviously, you can do something similar if you've got one of the manual ones, uh, but you know that especially for people with poor eyesight maybe or even people who are a bit techy uh, I find this much e a much easier route to take than to use those little things which are a bit fiddly 
Um, and obviously you can do it from anywhere in the world. You can do it from the house. I can control it when and where I want. I can change the schedule and so on. It's just a lot more convenient for me anyway. So if I <coughs> show you the one that I've already got loaded up. So this is the garden light. So this is this is one that is already connected to the to the app. So if I just click on garden lights, actually what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to take airplane mode off and just risk people contacting me because I'm not able to demonstrate it without it being connected. So here we're connected. So you can see at the top of the screen, I've got the little uh, Wi-Fi signal there. So my phone is onto the Wi-Fi and the smart socket, the Tekken smart socket is also connected to the Wi-Fi. So if I, first of all, on the right of the screen, I can just click them on and off. So I've just clicked it there and we've got uh, the green to show me that I've now switched my lights on and I can switch it off again. So I'm just going to click on where it says garden lights now. Um, it's telling me that the switch is off. And on the top right hand of the screen, that little pencil there, that is to change the the name of garden lights. I'll put that in myself so I can change that. There's a few other settings you can change there. You can use it with Alexa, you can use it, use it with Google Assistant, uh, IFTT if anybody's familiar with that, but I won't go into that at the moment. We're just going to look at the basics. So another way of switching it on and off, look at the bottom, it says switch one. So I'll just click that so it's turned my lights on. Click it again to turn my lights off. Uh, sometimes maybe somebody's coming at night and you just want to light them up uh, for a short time the middle one that says time left middle at the bottom sorry left time click that one and I can set it for whatever I want so it'll, it'll switch them on now and turn it off for an hour two hours or whatever you know the minutes as well I can change that confirm that so that will switch the lights on turn them off after a certain length of time now the one I use the most the schedule on the right so just like those uh, those manual little sockets that you can you know you can set a certain on and off time which like I say they're very fiddly um, I can add a schedule here so you can see I've got them coming on at 6 35 in the morning they switch on and then they go off at 7 45 so that the, they're on when we get up in the morning and then they switch off again when we go to work same again on the evening and I can add some more on and off schedules as many as I want or I can click those schedules off if, if for any reason I don't want that to, to happen. Uh, I can override that as well just by switching the whole thing on and off. Just I'm just pressing the one in the middle there. So that's really useful and I, I find that something that uh, is much better than having lots and lots of those little manual ones. So that's just showing one, this garden light is just showing one of these Tekken smart sockets at work. I've just bought two more so I can now put these into the greenhouse and replace the manual ones that I've got. So I'll have them all on the same app, which is again, it, it has its own, you know, you can clearly see it. That's going to be a lot more convenient for me than going around the greenhouse, try, you know, crawling underneath benches to try to get to the, the sockets, to try to get to the, the manual sockets to, you know, the timer, timer sockets to try and change them and override them. And, as, as the light changes, as we move towards springtime, then they're going to need a lot of adjustment. Uh, so this is a much more convenient way of doing it. So what I need to do is show you how to pair them. So I've got one of these Tekken sockets in my hand. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to plug it in now. And you need to make sure that you're on your network. So you, as long as you're in the house, I mean, in the instructions, it just say get right next to your router. But it's fine as long as you are connected to your router with your phone which i am and the tekken socket is you know within the same kind of vicinity then you can do it so i'm just going to plug this in just bear with me and after switch it on there's a little uh, switch at the side with a g on it so you just click that and that'll turn green and you know you're ready to go so just bear with me a second okay back i didn't turn green it turned blue sorry about that so what I need to do is I need to add a device. So in the top right hand corner, you can see a little plus sign. So I'm going to click on that. And you can auto scan or you can manually add something. Um, I'm not really bothered whether, you know, I'm going to label it as kitchen appliance, exercise, whatever. I've not found that makes any difference, to be honest. Uh, it's just going to be 
uh, basic sockets on Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click the top one that says socket Wi-Fi. So it's asking me to reset the device first if it's if it's blinking fast. Now I'm just going to glance over at it. I can't quite see it. Okay, it is it is blinking fast. So I need to to skip the reset steps. So I'll go right to the bottom. Um, confirm indicator is rapidly blinking, which it is. So I'm going to click the blue button. Enter the Wi-Fi password. So. My Wi-Fi is at the top there, the Sky one, so I'm going to click on that one and click Confirm. And the password's there, obviously I've blanked it out so you can't see it. Not that anybody can go on it anyway, unless you just happen to live next door, but you never know. So it's connecting, so all the router, the mobile, they're all within a rough vicinity, I'm probably about if I, if I try and estimate, probably about five, six meters from my router uh, through the through the floor, as I'm upstairs next to the computer at the moment, and um, it's found a device, Smart Socket Two. So I want to change what it's called. So I'm going to call this one. I think I'm going to put this one on my greenhouse grow lights. So I'm going to label this. Greenhouse. At the moment, I've only got one set of grow lights. And that's the one that I'm going to be changing quite a lot. Click done. And we have it. So it's on at the moment. And I've just glanced over at the socket and it's, it's turned to green at the side there. So that's telling me that it's on. Click off right in the middle there. And the switch is now off. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So I don't have to do that again and wherever I am in the world uh, as long as I've got a 4G signal I'll be able to switch that on and off I'll be able to change the schedule uh, I'll be able to to change you know the name that's on it whatever I call it I'll be able to take it off the grow light and put it on something else if I want to um, really useful dead handy and I can see why people uh, use these instead of using those fiddly little switch things um, now obviously you've got to be able you've got to have a smartphone it's no good if you've not got a smartphone you can't do it with one of the old-fashioned phones and um, you've got to be you know you've got to have some skills using a phone not many but some and i hope this has been useful to you and um, if it has give us a thumbs up and i will see you on the next one bye